Kikele P. Jackson. I am the CEO and founder of Akenso All Still Standing. We are on a mission to rebuild lives, to restore hope, and to restore dignity. We do that uh, through education, social development, and health. Um, I am so excited because we are here in uh, uh, Kautu Park in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. Um, we have breaking news. So we work with uh, sex workers, uh, young girls who've been forced into prostitution, the ones that are already operating, women who have been affected by domestic violence. Now, we, we are here to say, look, against all odds, you two can stand. I can do it in You must be ambulant. You must be seven years in the season. But there are other ways. Seven size and as a whole, two toilet my mouse of seven is long, just per day, ten per day, but from morning until night. So you are on duty throughout. Papa Dala Mabi, three dollars. So, oh, my ones would to cheer when the seven is long. Where sex work in green. I was a chief. I made a lot of small choice. I don't have a lot of choice. I don't have a lot of choice. I don't have a lot of choice. Something on our We know the so we know we even if I didn't pay Being fashion, doing fashion, so you love fashion. So, like, now go with the dealer, like, how you are dressed. I want to talk fashion. So, if you are this order to do that and start doing that and make money for yourself, would you still save our government? Manju is going to tell you to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So we are what some people Baba was in Jani. Hello, how are you? Who says hello and who says how much? You Baba Chol. Okay, so I was a little is the la 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 is the sex song the part of my life then you just say yes no my man never will be like what's the highest of our part of my life twenty dollars how soon you twenty dollars that we have said then you soon will be mad at me how do you feel about the sex work we collaborate, 
other organizations on the land. We work with social workers, we work with, depending on which country we are. We currently have 20 women in Kaldu Park, who are most of them were sex, as, were sex workers. I say that way because it's now past tense for most of them since they had an encounter with the Guinness Hall Old Still Standing Team. Um, the great news is that it's all about empowering women. Uh, let's educate, let's equip, and let's empower. Uh, so what we mean by that is, depending on, on what the passion of is, for example, some of them are very passionate with sewing. Uh, we have bought them sewing machines, we are placing them in the school can learn more on how to design, how to cut, and how to do all the things that can make them begin to sustain themselves. So they don't have to go to a bar, they don't have to service five men a day just to eat, uh, but they can provide for their families. They are, you know what, their dignity is being restored. Some of them are hairdressers, so we are giving them a startup pack so they can start to start with, they're doing mobile, mobile hairdressing. I think you would have been hearing from some of them. My name is Tracy Yati. I stay here in Mabatwini. Um, since uh, Mama Fegelepe has, since she has come in our lives, she has changed a lot of things. Um, to mention them one by one. I'm a mother of a four-year-old baby. She's a girl. Uh, Mama Figalabi gave me this dryer to help me with my profession. I'm a hairdresser and she is still bringing people to train me to be a professional hairdresser. Uh, through this hairdressing, it has changed a lot of things such as I can pick my baby, take her to school and do a lot of things. Thank you. After that, some skirts. Then they brought us this designer from Nigeria, Papilola. She came and about sewing some stuff and we sewed these skirts and they told me that our skirts were so good. So they gave me this sewing machine to start doing my cuttings, to buy some clothes so that I can do my sewing. So I was just happy. So this time Babu are back and I'm going to do a course of the one year in Mabu Twin. So I'm so excited because I was just sitting at home doing nothing, ngangela, anything to do. So Mumfi came and changed my life. Sometimes at home I used to cry and ask myself, what am I going to be in life if I just sit? I have no father. It's just a single mother. I just have to help my mother, you know, and be patient. I told her what I was doing. Then she said, Please prepare this. What is it? I said, What is it? I said, What is it? She 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 said, there's someone who believes in me, who believes that I can do greater in life. Today, as I'm talking, I know how to sew. I, I, I also do... I'm a, I'm a EPID work. Les kwama, lama necklace, I'm a choker and everything. Nye zanja zami, then I sell out there. I make a living out of that. <laughs>